Hello everybody, Raven here, and welcome to a brand new side project I'm going to be doing. We're going to be playing Bastion. You might be asking yourself, what is Bastion? Well, Bastion is a downloadable game developed by Supergiant Games. Um, it is an action RPG currently available on Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, it'll be coming to PC later this year. Um, before we jump right in, there's something I need to stress about this game, and that is that there is a constant narrator. Um, he tells the story, and he just kind of narrates what's on screen, so that makes commentating on it kind of hard. I'm gonna try audio this one time because uh, subtitles usually aren't well received, but if it doesn't go well, I am going to be doing subtitled commentary for the rest of the Let's Play. Uh, don't kill me. Alright, so let's go ahead and start a new game here. Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Then we should probably go meet up with everybody. Uh, the first thing I notice is that the game is very uh, unique in its art style. It's very bright and just unorthodox, and I really like how the ground just forms under your feet. Ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. Hmm, I wonder if you can... And then, he falls to his death. I'm just fooling. Yeah, you can. Okay, let's move on. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. You know, I wonder what caused this calamity. We really didn't get much backstory. Knowing why the world is in such peril might be good. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella. Forced out from underground. It pops him good. Fella got a piece of him though. Alright, well that was really simple. Um, I wonder if there's actually anything in this debris. Like, is there a point of breaking it? Um, actually this looks like a secret. Had a few shards. I take, uh, we'll know what those are for a little bit later. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Got a holder still to spin up the chamber. Okay, so this already looks to be a lot weaker than the hammer, but I guess that's a given considering it's a ranged weapon. And you know, a ranged weapon will be useful, especially when it shoots that quick. We can probably up the dam uh, the damage on it later anyways. Thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. Right, so those fountains refill your healing tonics, which I think in turn heal you three times, so not a bad deal. A school of squirts tunnels up around him. Must have fled here for the mines. Squirts, huh? Not too threatening. They die in one hit, but they do kinda swarm you, so that's annoying. What's over here? Saloon. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking dead. Yeah, well that's kind of unfortunate, but uh, it's not going to stop us from coming in here and raiding it of goodies. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. What the hell was our shield doing in the saloon? The security takes him for a petty thief. Oh yeah, you know, probably a standard for frickin' sal saloons to just have these missile turrets. It's pretty cool though how we can just shoot their, uh, their projectiles back at them with the shield, I like that.
special delivery. Gas fellas. Oh, lovely. Like, what the hell kind of defense system is this? Windbags start turning up for last call. I wonder how long they come for. Can we grind XP here? Nope, doesn't look like it. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. I really hope all this shit got here after the calamity. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Otherwise, this place wouldn't have been very sanitary. Oh, come on. They called that a big ol' fella, and he died in, like, two hits. Oh, squirts are doing some damage, though. Kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. Sounds perfectly safe. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. That's kind of ironic. Okay, that's a lot more powerful than re the repeater we got, but I don't know if I like charging it up. Kid Spy is a good perch for some target practice. Knows he should draw the string all the way back. Actually, never mind. There's something strangely satisfying about pulling that string back and then just doing a shit ton of damage. Definitely going to enjoy the bow. Actually, is this a alternate path? Yes, it is. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker. Once the fastest man in the land. Ah, yes. This is what I wanted to get into. So this item can be used to upgrade the bow. Which uh, we definitely want to do. Upgrading weapons is really what we're going to need to do to get through the game efficiently. So uh, I don't think we can upgrade right now, but we will be able to later. We'll take a look at that when it comes. Right back at you. Kid better watch his step. I totally forgot that we could fall off this. I got to be a little Good bit more careful. There's no railing here. Defenses still work. Bad news is they aiming for the kid. Okay, so the shield doesn't work when it hits you from the side. Also, for some reason, these turret guys remind me of Beemos from uh, the Legend of Zelda series. Oh yeah, there was a loading screen earlier that told us what these shards are. They're called World Fragments, and uh, we won't be able to use them until we're at the Bastion, in case you missed that. Ah, a new item. Oh, I think this is our first spell. Dusty old tome. He's a mighty fast learner. <laughs> okay, that looks like it's gonna be awesome, but the thing is, it's really hard to control. Yeah, see, like, I think you're gonna fall to your death a lot using that. It's kinda like you're on ice. Find the distillery, right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. One sip Ooh, of the, I like the sound of that, that distillery, and the kid'll feel like a new man. Right, so spirits are passive upgrades, kind of, and uh, we get a new one every level. So these are the three that we have to choose from, from uh, for level one. Um, they all look pretty good, to be quite honest. But I think, I, I feel like the max HP upgrade is probably the best right now, but it's only 10 HP, so I don't really know. The critical hit chance also, also sounds really nice. I think we're going to go with, yeah, we'll, we'll go with the 10 HP. It's probably bad that I already feel like I made a huge mistake. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Right, so this is where we can just rearrange our weapons and such. Um, I'm pretty happy with it right now. I think I'm going to leave the bow and hammer on. 
Yeah, and I don't think we have any other spells, do we? Oh, actually we do. Dancing shot. Um, that sounds pretty useful, but I think I'm going to keep Whirlwind on for now, just because it, Whirlwind seems to be, like, incredibly good against squirts. Ah, that's Black Tonic. Now we need Black Tonic ever... Every time we cast a spell, it uses one black Some tonic. Of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. See, now this is where it's probably good to grind XP because, as far as I know, uh, these guys don't stop coming until I decide to go kill their little spawners over there. But um, I'm actually not getting any XP here, so screw it. Let's just kill this and move on. God, I hate squirts. They they really do do quite a bit of damage. Oh, okay, you get the XP for killing the spawner, not the squirts, so you can't just infinitely grind XP there. Oh, another little secret that it looks like. Maud, the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them though. Okay, well. Don't really see a point to that. Let's just let's just continue. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's really uh -oh. close now. This is like a little moving segment, isn't it? Yeah, we're gonna have these friggin' things shoot at us while we're on here. Hopefully no enemies spawn. Whoa! That turret shoots three at a time. Actually, that was pretty badass, though. You can use your shield to deflect multiple shots back at him. Ugh, not squirts. I hate squirts. I can already tell that squirts are easily going to be my least favorite enemy. This doesn't look very inviting at all. Whoa, that does a lot of damage. Okay, when he charges up, I definitely got to roll out of the way. Kid takes a chunk of alloy. Okay, so let's use to upgrade the hammer. If only I knew how to upgrade our weapons, I could actually put that to use Smell right now. And spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. Oh my Kid god, what the fuck is this? What he just did. All right, as far as I can tell, they vomit this blue stuff, and when you walk on it, it makes you slow and does quite a bit of damage. And when you shoot them, it looks like they're getting smaller. Yeah, they, yeah, they're definitely getting smaller. I actually feel like this is a good time to have the repeater, so I can just kind of rapidly shoot at them as opposed to having a charge. Bad time to run out of black tonic. Not really. I don't need to cast spells right now. Okay, that was pretty close. Oh shit, I didn't even see that hole in the ground. Alright, we're out of healing stuff now. Kid puts him out of his misery. Robs a scumbag of his last meal. Finally clear. Just gotta kill these little spawners now. God, that was a lot of XP though, and that was probably a lot easier than I made it seem, just so you know. Also, I believe we just leveled up. Uh, max health increased, and now we can get another spirit the next time we find our little arsenal area. Also, looks like our tonics were refilled. Black uh, and the healing tonics. Finds the core to the wharf district. Oh god, what is this gonna do? He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Kid has a feeling he better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. Yeah, okay, fuck this. We just gotta move. I'm not killing any of the shit on here. I don't wanna die. Although usually when we fall off, it just respawns us right away, and I have a feeling this does not. 
see that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Kid just keeps running. Actually, I'm quite a bit ahead of where it's falling now. I should probably kill these guys and get the XP. Let me go a little bit further. At last, the skyway is in sight. Okay, good. Then I'll start killing them here. Alright, there we go. And I believe that this part here won't fall off. Actually, guys, this is probably a good place to end the video. So thank you for watching. I hope you've been enjoying Bastion. I've been having a ton of fun, and I'll see you in the next video.